Halloween in Japan is big. If you watch the news about Shibuya in Tokyo, you may think it is very big in Japan, as big as in the US, but reality is different in Japan. The first thing you need to know about Japanese, they believe in the paranormal. It is part of life and taken seriously. Well, this is my observation. There could be other voices saying that it's not true, but I'm telling you my story. So a few months ago, my husband and me went on a short hiking trip to Kamakura. Maybe you have seen one of my videos about Kamakura. I wanted to explore the region more. It was the last day of June and a really beautiful day. A very short hiking trip. The path's name is Gionyama and it starts from a shrine known as Bad Luck Shrine, Yagumo Jinja. It starts as a trail only wide enough for one person and going up the hill. On top you reach this very beautiful outlook you have seen at the beginning of the video. Then you go into the woods and up and down. It is an easy path with some obstacles from tree roots and it's not advisable to use this path during rain so you can see here the roots and it's a little bit steep the summer in japan is really hot and it was a hot day but it was nice and cool to hike When we approach the end of our trip, suddenly a wall with graffiti, a little unusual for Japan and even more unusual for Kamakura. Graffiti I associate with bridges because you find graffiti very often under bridges. So I imagine the killer might get rid of his victim under a bridge and will bury it there. So I don't like graffiti. And it was a warm and sunny day, so it felt creepy to me that day. At the end of our trail, there is a long stretch of stairs. My partner is ahead of me. On the left hand side is a huge stone with writing on it. He reads it and I asked him what it's about. He wouldn't tell me. I asked again and he said he doesn't know. But he wants to go home now. Well, of course, we didn't go home immediately. We had lunch and we looked at beautiful Kamakura and we had to go back to our car also. So we went home that day and he never told me what was written on that stone. The legend is that Kamakura or the Kamakura Shogunate, which was the capital of Japan for a while and which ended in 1300. 33 when Yoshisada Nita attacked and destroyed Kamakura after a fierce battle with the Hojo clan who were the protector of the region. Um, at the same time they hold government power during this time. The battle was on, they were fighting fiercely and then the Hojo clan realized oh, the defeat was unavoidable. 870 samurais of the Hojo clan, headed by Takatoki Hojo, the 14th Hojo regent, to Choshoji temple and committed mass suicide through Harakiri. The temple existed approximately 200 meters southeast of today's Okaichi temple. They also burned out the temple so that no samurai was identified to the enemy. Toshogi was the family temple for the Hojos. At that time, many simple citizens imitated the Hojos and they assumed that around 6,000 died at their own hands on that day. People told me that if you go alone there, you hear whispers.
my husband told me this story. In 1995 to 97, there was a construction underground parking lot at Kamakura Seaside Park and they found 4,000 human bones. There were also many animal remains found, such as horses and cattle. These humans didn't die from violence. So the human remains were found up to the beach tori, such as the Kamakura Samori Corps and the special nursing home for the elderly, Kamakura Shiroka and Yui Gahama. So these human remains were from the Kamakura period to the Edo period and it was a mass graveyard. So according to a survey by St. Mariana University School of Medicine, the average life expectancy of the human bones excavated was 24 years old. A park house was constructed close to the beach from Kamakura. So when you do construction in Japan, very often you do it also at night, especially street construction. There was a team of seven workers and one supervisor. and. He has to go his rounds and check everything and suddenly he counted eight. So when he checked his workers, he counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the story. <laughs> Instead of seven, there were eight workers. All the years, my husband told me that this street, which connects Sushi and Kamakura, has a tunnel which is haunted. And I always believed him, but I just found out that it's not this tunnel. It's a totally different one. It is this tunnel, which is the inland, connection between Sushi and Kamakura and as you can see here from the website where they talk about this tunnel it's a translation from Google Earth it's exactly the same image according to that article it's called Kobat Tunnel there was a famous story about Kenchan, if I understand this correctly, who was a new TV, TV talent and he seems to drive through the tunnel with five friends and suddenly something dropped on the car roof and a huge sticky palm came from the ceiling and this Ken screamed and jumped out of a car and ran away but nobody could see him he just disappeared so everybody was looking for him and when they returned to the car Ken was sitting there but he seems to be mad and he never returned to his original state and stayed in a hospital so I'm not sure if I understand the story correctly but from what I read further, there seems to be a crematorium close by or on top of the tunnel. So one rumor says that during the Kamakura period, there was a headquarter there and um, someone who got hanged was immersed in the basement and this ghost appears in the tunnel. So, and here is a story from a witness, what I read uh, translated on a website, so I hope it's all correct. So this person uh, went through the tunnel 27 years ago and she was already scared and she calls this tunnel Nagoshi Tunnel, but it was a shortcut. So she entered it from the sushi side, or he entered it from the sushi side. And he was on his bicycle riding and he immediately felt a warm blow to his face. Then he hears a screaming female voice and he starts to go faster on his bike. And he said luckily he made it through the tunnel. The ghost didn't catch him. Other rumors are that the spirit of fallen warriors are coming out or that the spirit of an old woman comes out, sometimes chases cars 
or a girl spirit comes out and looks into the car while driving. The spirit of a long haired woman comes out or a face emerges on the wall of the tunnel or something falls from the ceiling. Hence, touch cars, the voice of a spirit. When walking through the tunnel, hands come out of the wall and grab you. People will disappear or there is a curve on the Kamakura side. And during night time, it sometimes appears that it's a straight tunnel and a lot of crashes occurring. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm not much of a Halloween fan, but um, I like the costumes and all this, but I, we, we don't celebrate Halloween. And um, this year in uh, Japan, in Shibuya, it went out of hand. And personally, I think, hmm, it's more trick or treat for children and yeah, if, if it's too much, like for Shibuya's junction, I don't think it should be celebrated in this way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you the next week. Bye.